Okay, I want to tell you all a story. I wasn't going to talk about this. Um, something happened to me on the way to work last week, and I, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I decided that I should talk about it because I'm sure this happens to a lot of people, um, but it doesn't happen to me that often. Anyway, I, I'm driving to work. I take the same way every single time, and there's a, a place where I have to turn into two lanes of, of traffic, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting for the lane next to where I turn to be clear enough to, to move into. And there's a bunch of traffic that day, a whole bunch of traffic, but there's a space. I pull in, and as I pull in to the empty lane, and I'm going fast so that the car coming on that lane isn't going to be inconvenienced, <laughs> all of a sudden, I just hear, bah! like the horn just like just laying on the horn forever, and a car next to me, like with his arm out of the window and w waving his arm around, and bah! and so. <laughs> Anyway, so I, and then he wants to get in front of me with, fine, get in front of me. So he gets in front of me, and then he gets to a light that we're both getting to on the way. And it seems like we're both headed to Warner Brothers. So, um, <laughs> so he stops and, and rolls his window down. He's still got his arm out and just, and so I pull along, and I could have passed him uh, up, but I decided to stop next to him, and I, I rolled my window down. And I pulled up next to him, and I thought, oh my god, what if he works at Warner Brothers? How embarrassing for him. And because um, <laughs> it kind of looked like somebody that, that I know, but it wasn't him. But anyway, so, so I roll my window down, and as I'm starting to say, you weren't in the lane, he starts going, you're a dangerous lady. You're dangerous lady. And starts screaming, and his veins are popping out of his neck. <laughs> so angry. And I said, you weren't even in that lane. And he goes, I was, I, was, I was in that lane. And I said, no. And he goes, you're so dangerous. And I said, you were in the other lane. He goes, no, I was. Damn it, Ellen. And I was like, what? Because at some point while he was arguing with me, he realized who he was talking to. But, but he didn't apologize. Damn it, Ellen. God. And I was like. I said, you're so angry. And I said, I'm telling you, you were in the other lane. He goes, no, I wasn't, Ellen. No, I wasn't. <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, and I, and I, so every single day since then, I think I'm going to see him. And, I, you know, like we're going to see each other. And he's going to apologize for being so mean. Because um, I would apologize if it was my fault. But he really was not. I would not pull out and not notice there was a person in that lane. Anyway, so every single day when I come to work at that same place, I think I'm going to see him. And I look for him, and I haven't seen him. So if, if you're watching, because I'm sure he's been waiting for me to tell this story. Um, I think he works at Warner Brothers. And, if you, and I, my fear is he works in the payroll department. And if he does, <laughs> I'm hoping we can make up, because I don't want him mad at me and you know shorting me or anything. Um, so whoever you are, um, I'm inviting you to come on the show so we can really talk about it. I'll invite Judge Judy, and Judge Judy can actually hear the case.